Hello, Globies. I am here at the Women's RTR and I met someone that I just had to interview and introduce you to. Her name is Kate and she built out a 136 inch ProMaster herself. You're not gonna believe it. She's 79 years old, but she is just phenomenal. And I tell you, when you see this build, you're going to be so impressed, but you're gonna be even more impressed with her. And I can hardly wait to bring her to you. So you know what, without further ado, let me go ahead and let's start this tour of Kate's amazing build and let me introduce you to her. Hello, oh, Kate. Hi, Carol. It's so good to meet you here at the RTR, and you did a beautiful build, and we're gonna show that in this video. But just a little bit about you. You were telling me you do have a home base. I do. At one of the escapees um, locations where you can buy in and so you stay there, but you have, there you have, what did you say, an eight by 20 trailer? Uh, an eight by 24. Eight by 24 <laughs> trailer. And that's for when you want to be stationary for a bit, but yeah. then you hit the road in this beautiful van. And I feel like I have more room here than I do in that eight by 24 trailer. <laughs> so you are living tiny, whether you're on the road or not on the road. Right. yeah. Oh my <laughs> goodness. So how long did it take you to build this out? Well. It's rainy Oregon, so uh, it took me a year, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a whole year. I spent a month or here or there where I didn't do anything because it was too cold and rainy and miserable to be right. outside working. So uh, probably about three months of actual work, Okay, I would say. Now you said that you had built out a van before? Yes. So this was your second one. So in this right. one, you knew what you wanted more. Exactly. Okay. And I made a lot fewer mistakes. Not not perfect, but a lot fewer. Now, would you consider yourself a carpenter by trade? No. <laughs> no. But I'm, I'm a chainsaw carpenter. That's what I call myself. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? I think without any further delay, we need to show everyone this beautiful beautiful van that you built out and you were saying that you built it out with the exception of a couple of things like that's an ikea set of drawers and you didn't do the electrical but everything else you did well, in here i had a huge amount like i would say i was the helper with the ceiling okay like the walls the floor the furniture i did all that yeah. okay well you know what let's go and have an in-depth look at this beautiful home on wheels that you've created. When I look at this and you say it's not finished, I'm like, are you kidding me? It's so <laughs> stunning. So you know what? Let's just show the viewers everything that you've done in here. Now these cabinets here are drawers rather. You have yes. six drawers here. Yes. And you built those yourself. Yes. I did not cut the long pieces. I, I did all the drawers myself, that, uh -huh. but I didn't have not have the equipment to do these long pieces, so a friend cut those for me. Okay. Um, but these have, you'll notice they have little, this is what keeps them from coming out, because oh, these are okay. not, these are just boxes, basically, that go in there. And there are dowels that hold them in place, because these are not real cabinets the way most cabinets are built. This is just a box that slides in. Okay. So, and this... It's just a dowel, and I bought some beads from Michael's and glued them on top. Okay. So that's what keeps these from flying out. <laughs> wow. Now, you were telling me, I'm going to move this here, okay. these hats, okay. but you were telling me that you this is was a mistake. And I'm looking because that's one of my favorite things in the whole van. Now, so what happened, and how did you come to make that piece? Well, I had cut that wrong, mm -hmm. and... So it just didn't look right. And I said, well, maybe if I, if I make something, I have a scroll saw. So I was able to, you know, cut this out, design this and cut it out and then paint it. And, uh, so that's, that's a, a mistake. mistake. That's a mistake. That's right. What a mistake to cover up something, <laughs> but that turned out to be just beautiful. Oh my goodness. Moving along, I'm looking at the ceiling and the 
walls and it reminds me of a log cabin. It's just beautiful. What kind of wood is this? This is just knotty pine. It's uh -huh. cheap. And this is not even the um, the half inch that they usually usually use. I think it's five sixteenths of an inch. Okay. And I wanted that because it's lighter and I wanted to make this as light as possible, uh, lightweight as possible. And, and I'm looking over here and you have these like indentions or I don't know yeah. indentions I don't even know if that's a word but yeah. it has it goes into the wall here so you have the space behind what would normally be the wall there for cutouts on either side right and the reason is this is a major um, structural component that cannot be removed okay but these are there was something in here that could be removed. Okay. And so I just went ahead and left that obviously. The brace and, there, yeah. the support beam. And when you get these professionally done normally, because they're in a hurry, they will just go from here all the way to there. And right. so you don't have all this space. With that going further into the wall area than normal, do you have insulation in your walls? Yes, yes, it still has insulation in there. What kind um, of insulation did you use? I have the rigid foam board that has uh, reflection on one side and just, uh, it's just a white rigid foam. Okay, board. and you have one inch you said? Yeah, I think it's an inch, it might be a half an inch. Okay, and that's but adequate you find? I find it's adequate, now I have more in the ceiling. I'm looking at your bed and this little thing kind of actually divides the kitchen section from the bedroom. It's like, kind of like a, yeah. a mental divider there. How did you come up with that and what made you decide to do that? And how did you make this bed? Well, this bed was supposed to originally be one that I could slide out and have it a larger bed. Mm -hmm. And that, I just could not get that to work the way I wanted it to. So these are here basically because it's a pretty high bed. Right. And it'll keep me from falling oh, out. Oh, okay. <laughs> So it's keeping you from falling out, but it actually provides the visual separation from the kitchen I like and it, it yeah. looks like into a bedroom area. I like it too. And, um, you know, when you're an old lady like me, you don't want to fall out on this. <laughs> <laughs> now, the foam on this, you were telling me you have six inch foam and on top of that, because I was feeling that and it's so soft and it feels so comfy. What is that that's on top of there? That is something called, it's from a company called Sleep On Latex and it is a one inch topper. And when I first put in just the six inches, it was not that comfortable. But when I put this one inch only in there, it now is more comfortable than my bed at home. <laughs> now, what is the name of that again? It's the brand name is Sleep On Latex, and that's the company. Okay. And I think as far as I know, that's the only thing they make is mattresses, latex wow. toppers and mattresses. I, I am yeah. gonna get one of those. They are, they're really great. They're a little bit pricey. I think that was close to $100, okay. but it was For a good more, night's than sleep. Worth yeah. more than worth it. Yeah. Well, let's look at over at your kitchen here. In your kitchen, you have a sink. Now, do you have a water pump under there, I presume? I, what I have, and I'll show you in the back here. Okay. Um, I have a big, just a big you know, five gallon jug and an, in it I have um, uh, a submersible little pump. And then how does that go from all the... Well, runs? I have tubing that goes around here. Oh, yeah. okay. And then it goes to the sink. Yeah. Set of drawers here, you said, is from Ikea. That's one of the few things that you didn't make in here. That's right. Yeah. I mean, you had to assemble it, but... Right. Now, how do you keep that closed? Well... These do not have any kind of a stop on them. Uh -huh. So it's really important, obviously, to keep them closed. And this, it's got a, some very strong magnets on it. Oh, so and that a piece of magnet on that, that's what, a board, one inch by yeah. half inch? It, yeah, probably, or one inch, yeah, one inch by half inch. Is okay, right. and then the magnets on there magnetize to that yeah, set. And no matter how much one of them wants to come out, it would have to bring out all of them and that never happens. So okay, all right. It keeps them all in check. So. Now, can we look and see what you cook with? I'm seeing over here okay. that you have an induction yeah. stove. So that's a portable induction. This is a new wave import, uh, 
a portable. That's not the one I use most of the time, although I do use it. I generally use my butane. Oh, I love uh, my butane stove. I do too. I like the butane stove. So and, you use that from time to time. Well, yeah. speaking of that, since that takes power, what kind of power do you have in here? I have um, a two 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. So they, they're pricey, but they are worth it. But now you were telling me you only have 100 watts of solar on the that's roof. That's correct. I do. And it's, uh, that's amazing to me. But that one solar panel so far has kept up with all of my needs. Wow. You can oh. see right there, I've got 99.8% power right, right now. Right, right. And I, it stays at, it rarely goes below that. So you must have, be in places where you get a fair amount of sunshine. I do, but even when it's a really cloudy, it's surprising how much that solar panel will pull in it anyway. See, you have an angle refrigerator. They have a very good reputation. I how do you it. like yours? I love it. And it was a lot more expensive than some of them. Yes, it is. But everything I've read suggests that they are the best. And this one actually, this is, I think, a 48 liter or something. Mm -hmm. And it, it has a freezing compartment. Back oh, here okay. And a fridge here. Or I can make it all freezer or all fridge, or I can switch them around so the refrigerated part is a small one and the freezer part is a large one. So there are all kinds of options on this. You were telling me that that refrigerator, as big as it is, and having the freezer section too, it barely sips any power? That is true. And if this, if we have full sun and this is at 100%, mm -hmm. It will not drop below 99.9% .9 when wow. this is going because the sun is, you know, the solar panel is keeping up with uh, recharging faster than this is. Because it takes <laughs> so know, little like, power. Yeah, it That's does. That's amazing. It's, it's amazing is right. It, I love this. It was, it was about a thousand dollars and that's a lot more expensive yeah. than some of them. But I had looked at this and I said, you know, I've already built one van and it was it was okay, but it wasn't exactly what I wanted. Right. And I figured, you know, I'm pushing 80, really, really close to pushing 80. And I, I did not, I don't think I'll ever do this again. So go ahead and do what I want and have something I'm going to really be happy with. That makes perfect yeah. sense. Well, you know, I would be very remiss if I did not ask you about, like you said, everyone's favorite subject, how do you go to the bathroom in your van? And you said for solids, that's really in an emergency. Right. So can you show us what you use? Cause it's, people are gonna be, <laughs> they're, gonna crack, they're, gonna be they're gonna crack up. <laughs> I use my trash can <laughs> and I can set myself down. <laughs> No, you have to be careful but it works it's this is just emergencies so what about the other how do you use okay. the bathroom otherwise and you know as an old lady i find that i need to use this a lot <laughs> <laughs> so the fact that you have to use it a lot and you're still using this method says it works for you it works you know I see people with these porta potties and the like. I just don't want to have anything to do with those. Okay. I have this is a Dollar Tree. Um, this is my <laughs> ladies' urinal. You can you can use your imagination to figure okay. out how that works. Yes. And then um, I don't have a black water tank, of course, but I do have a yellow water tank. Okay. All <laughs> and right. It, it started life as a biscotti container from Costco. <laughs> so this works for you. You know what? Whatever works for you. Yeah. You know, yep, that's right. And this is the Ram Pro Master 136, 136 inch. inch. So it's the short one. You know what? We're going to be ending this, but there's one thing I wanted to show before they end. And I am going to get some of these. You can't remember the name of the place where you got it, but it was in Portland. Oh, yeah. And, but we're going to find out and add that. But I want to go over and show these window um, ventilation yeah, system. Yeah. This is one of the features I really wanted to show on your van, the ventilation system on your windows. So let's go ahead and open that and show people how that works. So basically, you've got this system that goes onto your window. Can you show us how it goes on, how you insert it? Okay. Yes. So you put it on the window down when it's kind of halfway. Yeah. And then it adjusts itself. Yeah, it just self-rights it. 
and then you've got ventilation on one side and then I'm gonna go around and look on the other side and then you've got it's kind of a bug screen too and it's also prevents rain Wow. And so you have it open in the rain yeah. and you can have it open when it's really hot. Yeah. And oh my goodness. And you have one of those for both of your front windows. Right. Wow. Well, you said you're not done and you had a couple more things you're going to do and you're going to add a table and a few other things, but I'm looking at this again and I can't see where it needs one separate iota of a little thing but when you do remodel and not remodel but do add a couple of additional additions can we come back and can I show my viewers your new additions you can and one thing I can tell you that I would change I probably won't now but you can see that these they they kind of get off and if I had put those on there you wouldn't be able to tell <laughs> okay so you would put knobs on instead I'd of those put knobs on instead okay. of those okay uh, because those it's obvious if you're off just a little bit you know if it uh, well I'm gonna tell you something I think everyone who's ever had a van built or built one out if that was the only thing that they thought was a problem in their van they would be <laughs> thankful very oh, it's thankful not my only problem, but, but you know. oh my goodness well thank you so very much Kate and we will be checking back with you uh, when you do your upgrades and and see what they look like okay thank all you. right we'll see you down the road okay thank you Carol bye-bye